All right, how's it going, everybody? Back with another update. So I, things at work um, ended up getting switched around. So some jobs ended up getting pushed back. So I was able to find some time to make another video. And here we are. So um, a lot of the stuff in this video I've had for a bit now. Um, I just wasn't able to show it in that last update because I already had so much shit to show. So, um, but we got a little bit of everything in this video. We got vinyl, tapes, and CDs. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I think I'm going to start with the CDs. Um, that's actually what I have the most of for this video. All right, so the first one, this is Armageddon with Only True Believers. Uh, Armageddon, I think I've only talked about them one time in the past. Uh, really good, just kind of straightforward Swedish black metal. Um, Only True Believers is their second full length. And then they put out one more album after this, and then they were done. So, fortunately, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Just got a single page booklet with lyrics. Uh, this was actually. No, this is like one of only like two things I picked up while I was at a Never Surrender. Um, bought this from one of the uh, merch tables. I don't remember which one, but yeah. Really good band, definitely. I'd give them a listen if you haven't. That's Armageddon with Only True Believers. And next up, we have a French band. This is Blessed in Sin with... Uh, fuck, I, can't even, I don't even want to pronounce that. I think this is like their third album. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head though. But yeah, Blessed and Sin, very, very good band. Don't really hear a whole lot of people talk about them. You got some tits there. Got that, some pictures behind the disc there. So this album is fucking long. It pushes an hour and a half, but it is a fantastic album. Pretty good production, lots of good riffs. And I this was one of my pickups from uh, Eastern Front Records um, while I was in Oakland. Um, couldn't get the damn, the stickers that they put on here, as you can see, I tried to fucking get it off. Um, it doesn't do anything, it just leaves residue. So I just left it on there. Um, so this is just gonna be one of those things where I would just Get a new case for it um but whatever that's besides the point excellent band um definitely check them out link will be in the description that's uh blessed in sin and we also have blessed in sin again with um another band that has a very fucking long name i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to say it ordo Templi, I, I, dude, I, I can't even pronounce it. I'm, I'm not going to bother. But I believe they're also, God, I, I believe they're also a French band as well. Um, I can't even pronounce the name of the split. But I mean, if you go to, if you go to the Metal Archives, you go to Blessed and Sins page, you'll be able to find the split. Um, yeah. But anyways, very good split. I actually enjoyed the other band's material. Um over Blessed and Sin stuff, which I did not know the other band whatsoever when I first bought this. I bought this strictly because of Blessed and Sin and then ended up liking the other band's stuff on the split more. Um, yeah. That. And I, as you can tell, I didn't even try removing that sticker because it's just going to do the same thing that one did, but whatever. Yeah, let's go check it out. Blessed and Sin, excellent band. And that other band is really good too. I just cannot for the life of me pronounce the name of it. All right, next up we have... I Now, I have one viewer that really... Um, I can't remember his username off the top of my head. He is has been really... He has really been pushing me to get some more Slovakian black metal. So I know he will appreciate this one. 
Um, this says Malacarpitan. As you can see, we got the same bullshit going on here. <laughs> uh, this is their first album that I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of. But, dude, Malacarpitan is fantastic. Um, I saw them at Steelfest last year, and goddamn, they were one of the best bands that weekend. And the, the singer, I don't think he's in the band anymore. I because of course somebody told me that they have a new singer now. Um, but he's, he's just, you might be able to find a video of it on YouTube. He's literally just standing on stage. He's got like a cigar in his hand and he's got like a bottle of wine. He's just like, you know, like as the rest of the band is playing, he's just kind of like this. And, and it was just, it was just hilarious. But anyways, Mal, like I said, Malacarpitan, fantastic band. Yeah, the singer, it's that dude in the possessed shirt. I'm pretty sure he was wearing that shirt when I saw them, too. But yeah, I, I don't think he's in the band anymore. Like I said, somebody told me he wasn't in the band anymore. I don't know. If he's not, that's pretty disappointing, but whatever. So yeah, go check out Malacarpitan if you haven't. You will not be disappointed. All right, and this next one... This has been a just kind of one of those bucket list um, CDs, kind of like a holy grail, but not vinyl CD uh, for a while now. It's just been really hard to getting my hands on it. And um, I had mentioned in my last update that we went to Amoeba Records while we were in San Francisco and they had this. So I was... God, I was so happy when I found this. This is Ragnarok with Diabolical Age. Um, just the first three Ragnarok albums are just phenomenal. I mean, Ragnarok is a band that I, I do like all of their stuff, but the, f the first few albums are just fantastic. But they're in desperate need of reissues. Uh, because none of them have ever been repressed. They've never been pressed on vinyl. And it just really sucks. So hopefully at some point, some label will be able to, you know, pick up the rights and do some proper reissues. And with the original album artwork for all three of them. Yeah, that's that's an important factor right there. Because as <clears throat> a lot of us know, there is nothing more annoying than getting a reissue and then they don't use the original artwork. They just throw something out there that's completely bland and boring. But anyways, Ragnarok's a pretty well-known Norwegian band. Don't really need to talk too much about them. Just good stuff. Great album. That's Ragnarok with Diabolical Age. And the last CD I have to show, this is a French band. We have Seth with their debut album. Um, first CD press on Season of Mist. Um... It actually goes for pretty cheap. Um, I was kind of surprised. Um, like fucking $10. Um, so, and then I think Season of Mist also did the reissue of this a few years back. I don't remember exactly what year. And then they used artwork for it, which is just fucking horrible. This artwork is awesome. This is the shit I'm talking about. You get this amazing artwork and then you get the fucking reissues. If that's just shitty artwork. But anyways... Let's talk about the music. The music is fantastic, especially the acoustic passages on here are just phenomenal. Um, now, Seth's early stuff is amazing. Um, By Firepower Shall Be, this is their first full length. The second full length is okay. After that, they kind of lost me. I don't know. Like I guess you, you just you get these bands that their early stuff, they're just, they're all about the riffs and just like, fuck originality we just want to make good riffs and you know make good fucking black metal and then you and then once they start you know they start thinking oh well you know i'm tired of this we're gonna try to be original and just write shit that's boring which i can think of plenty of bands that have done that so um but Whatever, that's just my stupid opinion. You can disagree with me if you want. But anyways, this is Seth's fucking masterpiece. Such a great album. 
I'm not going to pull out the booklet. It's whatever. But yeah, just do yourself a favor and go check out Early Seth if you haven't. All right, time to go to the tapes. And then we'll finish off with the records. First tape, um, we have Infernum with Farewell. So Infernum is a Polish band. Now there are actually two, um, there are at least two Polish black metal bands named Infernum. Um, this is the one with uh, Rob Darkin and Capricornus from Graveland. And this is um, this is actually um, their the last thing they did under the Infernum name. Um, not really sure if they plan on reviving the project in the future, but that would be nice if they did. I also got this while I was in Oakland, but I can't really disclose I can't really disclose who or where I got it from. So. And this was limited to 300 copies. This is 264, put out on Nightbirds Records. But yeah, really, really good, nice little side project. Just go, if you like Graveland, um, it's, it's a little different than Graveland, but it's kind of along the same general idea. Um, no, just... If you enjoy Graveland, if you like anything that Rob Darkin does, you'll like this. This is good stuff. That's Infernum with Farewell. <clears throat> Next up, we have a U.S. band that I have uh, talked about. This is Lamp of Murmur with Chasing the Path of the Hidden Master. This is their newest uh, demo. Put out through Death Cult Productions. Very nice booklet. And this is basically just raw black metal. I mean, raw black metal is very much alive in the States. I mean, there, there's raw black metal projects everywhere in the U.S. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things where only a handful of them are worth a damn. This is definitely one of the ones that's worth paying attention to. So, <clears throat> if you have not checked out Lamp of Murmur, definitely um, do so. Excellent band. That's Lamp of Murmur with Chasing the Path of the Hidden Master. Long-ass album title. All right, and next we're going to talk about Seth one more time in this video. This is uh, By Fire, Power Shall Be. This is their first demo. At least I think it's their first demo. I could be wrong. But, holy shit, this demo is amazing. Probably one of my favorite demos. And probably just one of the best French black metal releases, period. Just so damn good. And uh, this is limited to 300 copies. I have 196 yeah, very nice. Nothing on this side, just that. You got pictures of the band there. And the tape is just like, they literally just put this on a, like a blank tape, you know, like, and then it's got, you know, I don't know. Probably French written on it, I don't know. Maybe it's Polish, I don't know. I don't speak the damn language, but yeah. So yeah, like I said, we were just talking about this demo, and here it is. Um, I picked this up off uh, Discogs. Now, Go to Warx just reissued this on vinyl this year. Um, I was planning on picking up a copy when it got um, when the uh, orders went up, but um, I was not thrilled with the price and the shipping, so I said fuck it, and um, I was able to get a copy of it on tape anyway so that's good enough for me but yeah i just i i can't do go to warx and their ridiculous prices the dude fucking charges fucking 25 to 30 dollars for a single vinyl record and then fucking like 25 dollars for shipping and i'm just not down with that so you know whatever i know other people eat that shit up but i don't but anyways Amazing fucking demo. Love this shit. That's Seth with By Fire, Power Shall Be. 
And we have one more tape, and we're going to talk about some more uh, raw U.S. black metal. Um, this is Valak with Leaning Towards, or Leaning Toward Bitter Misery. It's not plural. Leaning Toward Bitter Misery. <clears throat> um, so yeah, this is um, pretty good stuff. Um, I... This was put out through Appalachian Noise Records. Um, before this came out, they posted one song on their band camp, and I really liked it. So I went ahead and I pre-ordered the tape. Um, this is also released on vinyl, but the vinyl sold out really fast. Um, I think the tapes are sold out. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. So, But it's always worth a check if you listen to it and you end up liking it. But yeah, anyways, it uh, comes on this nice kind of transparent red tape and just a single kind of page J card. <clears throat> and I believe this is uh, considered a full length. I believe so. And if it is, it would be the first one. And I, I, I want to say that there was one demo that came before this. I don't remember the name of it, though, and I have not heard it. So I can't really say whether, I can't really speak for that release, but I can speak for this one. And this is good stuff. Um, much like Lamp of Murmur, definitely a raw black metal band from the States you should be paying attention to. And it is a one-man project. Um, at least I think so. <laughs> you guys should know never to take my word for it when it comes to that kind of shit. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Just good stuff. Go check it out. If there's any copies left, get it before it's gone. Um, don't know if there's a CD release yet either, or if there's one planned. I don't know. But anyways, this is good stuff. Valak, leaning toward bitter misery. And next we have the records. So I actually have one 7-inch. And this was a pickup from... Uh, uh, Eastern Front Records. This is actually a uh, a split 7-inch that I was aware of, but I kind of forgot about until I saw it at the record store, if that makes any sense. But this is the split with Blood Tyrant and Departure Chandelier. So Blood Tyrant, if you're not familiar with them, God damn. I don't remember what country they're from. I want to say they're from the Netherlands, but I'm probably wrong. Um, but yeah, Blood Tyrant, Raw Black Metal, and uh, Departure Chandelier is uh, from Canada. So yeah, you get the Blood Tyrant side, and then inside is the Departure Chandelier side. So um, this split is basically what you can expect from both bands if you've heard their material. I personally prefer the Departure Chandelier stuff, but that's just me. And uh, just Black Vinyl. It's just one song, too. One song from uh, each band. But yeah, very good split. Definitely recommend picking it up before it's gone. Especially if you like both bands. Especially uh, after that really, really good debut album from Departure Chandelier. It was nice to get some more material. So, yeah. Yeah, really good stuff. Go check it out. That's the Blood Tyrant and Departure Chandelier split. Alrighty, and we just have a couple of 12-inch records. First one, we have Dread and Forest with The Lost Dimension. Uh, I can't for the life of me remember what year this came out. Pretty recent. I want to say maybe 2015, 16, somewhere around there. Maybe. But yeah, but anyways, if you're not familiar with Dread and Forest, um, they're from Finland. Or I should say he's from Finland because it's a one-man project. Um <clears throat> Dread and Forest kind of mixes epic kind of black metal um, with just kind of just, you know, your traditional Finnish black metal. Um, Dread and Forest also does like dungeon synth kind of stuff, um, <clears throat> which, you know, you can hear that on their releases, especially on like their older demos and stuff. A lot of those are kind of strictly dungeon synth stuff. 
And uh, Dread and Forest actually just put out a new album. Um, haven't heard it, but I think, from what I've heard, I think it's only Dungeon Synth, but I think I'm wrong. I don't know. If anybody's heard it, let me know, because I haven't heard it yet. But anyways, really good album. Uh, this is the second full length. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that. Put out on uh, Wolf Spell Records. Comes with a interesting little fold-out booklet there. You got the picture of the dude there. That's and for those of you that don't know, um, it's the same guy behind Vargrav. And then just black vinyl. And Dryden Forest is actually playing their uh, first and according to them, their only uh, show. They're playing their only show at Steel Fest next year. I'm still trying to decide if I want to go next year or not, just because I have so many other things planned. Um, and money's a little tight right now, so I'm just trying to decide if I will, if it's a good idea for me to spend the money or not, let's just say that. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can make it though, because the lineup for next year the first announcements were, eh, and then it kept getting a lot better. Like, they fucking announced, like, War Moon Lord, Seth, fucking Osculum and Fame, um, the Sodom thing where Sodom's doing their EP and their first album. Yeah, they just announced a lot of good shit, like, later on. Like, if they would have announced that stuff first thing, I would have immediately bought, um tickets and shit, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, definitely go check out Dryden Forest if you haven't. Excellent band. And last but certainly not least, we have a band that I'm pretty, uh, it's pretty new to me. Haven't really, um, went into their discography too much yet. Um, this is Nyctophilia with, uh, Besden. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's B-E-Z-D-E-N, so I'm going to pronounce it as Besden. So Nyctophilia is kind of a, um, I guess the best way to describe them is they kind of mix atmospheric black metal with, um, DS, with a depressive black metal. Um, but I feel like this is more on the atmospheric side. But then again, I'm kind of one of those people that to say a black metal band is an atmospheric black metal band is kind of redundant because pretty much all black metal is atmospheric to an extent. And I feel like atmospheric black metal is one of those things that just cut, that just gets slapped onto every single band these days. And I think people have really kind of like lost sight of what atmospheric black metal really is. If you're going to stick that label on there, you know, but whatever, I'm not really here to talk about genres. We're here to talk about, you know, the band. So, and I can't remember off the top of my head what country this band is from. I'm not going to guess because then I'm going to be completely wrong. But yeah, um, newest full length put out through Death Cult Productions. It's the way they did the, the way they did this, it's very hard to see the back cover in this lighting. Also comes with a very nice little poster and uh, just black vinyl. But yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna be checking out more of this band stuff. Like I said, I'm fairly new to this band. So if anybody else has is familiar with their discography and knows or can tell me which is their best which is the next best one to check out then feel free to let me know in the comments yeah um that's the last one for the update that's nyctophilia with bezden um don't know if this is sold out or not on death cults uh band camp but again as always if you like it it's worth checking 
Uh, but yeah, um, that's it, guys. That's it for this update. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.